John sells 55 shares of stock he owns for a total of $350. If the stock was in two different companies, one selling at $5 a share and the other at $8 a share, how many shares of each does he have? So this is another investment problem involving stocks. Uh, I would say this question is very similar to the number question. So let's start with the declare of your variable. So we're going to assume that, assume John has um, X and Y shares of stock. Where, you know, X is for the, let's say, the $5 one, and then the Y is the $8 one. So you have the two kinds of stock. They share at, they sell at different price, um, but the X and Y are the number of shares for each stock. So let's make them X and Y. And we can create two equations because we have two variables. First, 55 share is the total number of shares. So that means X plus Y is 55. It's kind of like saying that the, two, the sum of the two numbers is 55. The second equation comes from the 350, which you need to use the unit price, the unit share price that's given by the problem. So one sells at $5 a share, the other at $8 a share. If you do sell all those shares, then to calculate the total cost or total money, you will use the number of share multiplied by the selling price. So $5 times X, that will be the selling price for the first stock. And then $8 times Y, that will be the selling price of the second stock. And if you add them together, it's gonna give you the total 350. So these two will be the two equations that we're going to be using to solve the system of equations in X and Y. Uh, the best method to solve the system equation is definitely elimination method. So I'm going to use the elimination method. First, I'm going to label these two equations. And then next, I'm going to eliminate, let's say, X. So I'm going to multiply equation A by negative 5. Why do I do that? It's because right now the coefficient of X and x is 1 and 5, so I want to make the first coefficient negative 5. That's why I multiply equation a by negative 5. And that's going to give me negative 5x, negative 5y, and negative 275. And then second equation b, we do not change it because we're going to add the first equation to the second equation. So you just copy the second equation. 5x plus a y equals 350. So if I add them, I will get x cancel out. 3y equals, uh, so over here, let's do some subtraction. So this will be 5. Uh, this will be... Mm, okay, let me put over here. So this will be 5, this will be 375, right? 75. And then we divide both sides by coefficient of y, which is 3. And then we will get y is 25. So that would be the first answer. So we have 25 shares of the second stock. Now let's find out the first stock. Since they add up to 55, it makes sense that the first one, x, is simply 55 minus 25, and that will give you 30. And therefore, you could answer the question. So John has, um, let's say, 30 shares of the... $5 stock and 25 shares of the $8 stock. And that would be our final answer.